hi, thank you for joining me in this discussion of single replacement reactions and how we would predict whether or not the reaction would occur. All right, so I'm going to start with the first one. Zinc is added, a piece of zinc, so that tells me it's a solid, is added to a solution of silver nitrate. Okay, solution of is always going to imply aqueous unless it's clear indication otherwise. Now, when you do this, you want to check your activity series unless you're told all reactions proceed to make product. And if you look at your activity series, you would see that zinc is above silver. That means that zinc prefers to be the cation. And when zinc becomes a cation, zinc wants to become the plus two cation, which means I would need two nitrates. So you notice I'm not looking at the, the you know, mole ratio of silver ion to nitrate ion to dictate my new product. I have to look at what zinc wants to become. Okay, and now that means that silver is all by itself. If it's all by itself, it has an oxidation number of zero. Now, I do need to balance this. So I've got two nitrates on the left, right side, so I need two on the left, and that means I need two silvers. Now, a common question that would, you'd be asked is, is this a re redox? And the simplest way um, to do that is say, I have a pure element all by itself, it's not, it's zero. In a compound, it's not zero. Here, it's in a compound. The silver is not zero. On the product side, it's zero. So when you see elements going in and out of compounds, that's usually a quick uh, estimation or guesstimate that it's a redox. In actuality, what happened is zinc lost two electrons and silver, two silvers, each gained, two silver ions each gained electrons. So there was oxidation and reduction. And you will find that single replacement is always a redox when it happens. Okay, so lithium is added to a solution of barium hydroxide. So which one, and so lithium's a metal, it's a solid, aqueous. I should have put my states above here. All nitrates are aqueous, are, are soluble without exception. Lithium is above barium, so lithium prefers to be the cation, and it's not. So that means that it's not what it prefers to be, and so this reaction would prefer, would proceed, and I get pure barium. Okay. And I need a two there and a two there to balance it. And yes, all single replacements are redox. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, fluorine gas is bubbled through a solution of strontium bromide. Now, in the case of nonmetals, what you want to do is identify which one wants to be the anion. Does fluorine want to be an anion or bromine want to be the anion? Fluorine is above bromine on the periodic table. So fluorine prefers to be the anion here. So we'd have strontium fluoride, which actually forms a solid, if I'm memorizing my solubility rules properly, and that's going to make liquid bromine likely separate out. Okay. Let me get us a little more space here. I want to go through these a couple very quickly. Magnesium is added to phosphoric acid. That would be a solid piece. Acids, by definition, are aqueous. Okay, magnesium is above hydrogen on that activity series. So that means it will replace hydrogen in an acid. So I would get magnesium phosphate, which would be a solid, and hydrogen gas would bubble out. That would be formation of the solid, and the hydrogen gas would be my evidence that a chemical reaction occurred. And now we would need 
to do a little bit of balancing here. Double check me, I think I've got that right. I did that pretty quickly, so. Okay, sodium added to water. Fun experiment to do. When you have water as a reactant, I recommend writing it as HOH um, because it reacts, don't, don't write it like this, but it reacts as if you've got H plus and OH minus. And the sodium wants to be a cation, so it will react with hydroxide and then you get hydrogen gas. You get heat and a gas bubbling, that would be your evidence of a chemical reaction. Um, if, you, if you write it as H2O, I, I have a lot of students tempted to write Na2O, but Na2O in water automatically makes NaOH. Um, so if you're in IB, this is called a basic anhydride. You might want to take a note of that. Okay, so that's why if you write it as HOH, you're less tempted to do that. Okay, let's go to the next one. Powdered zinc is added to calcium nitrate. Powdered zinc is solid. Calcium nitrate. So now I want to look at my activity series and I find that calcium is above zinc. So calcium prefers to be the cation and it is the cation. There is no driving force, so no reaction, no driving force for this to occur. Okay, bromine is added drop by drop, slowly added to a solution of sodium chloride. Now I'm comparing bromine and chlorine. If you look at the periodic table, chlorine prefers to be the anion chloride, and it is in this case. And so there is no drive. The one that wants to be the anion, the one that has the bigger drive or draw of electrons is the anion, so that would be no reaction. So thanks so much for joining me. I appreciate your time. I hope this is helpful in your journey of chemistry.